What up, in this John? It's your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes Banger, and welcome to the video as we are going to be testing out these A-Kit bikes by Skralix. And I gotta say, SMX is literally right around the corner, like literally. <laughs> I mean, like tomorrow. So why not hop in on Las Vegas here? Uh, this track kind of went under the radar, dude. It was pretty unfortunate, but they did host like some kind of money uh, grab here as well. That was pretty cool. I did try to participate, did not make the main event for it uh, when it did come out, but. I thought it'd be fun to test these the Ducati, at least the Ducati 450 on this track. And um, yeah, just kind of give it a go and and see what's up. So yeah, this is Las Vegas. I think it's like a dollar in the MX bike shop. Um, but yeah, the Ducati's feeling absolutely raw. And I got to say, to start it off, uh, and I enjoy what Skrallix has done with these bikes because he literally said in his, in his post that every bike and manufacturer, suspension, chassis, uh, you know, weight all that every bike has a different you know set you know a different motion a different uh <laughs> way of riding in it as it should be you know what i mean every bike should feel different because everybody's trying to compete and or make their brand not exactly the same you know so they they want to try that fine fine-tuned situation to where it's like how can we make the ducati different how can we make beta triumph you know kawasaki different right and i enjoy that you know skralix takes that in consideration and another thing i'm going to put this up on the screen the customization for the fmf pipes to the handguards is absolutely insane i mean you absolutely killed it for that i greatly appreciate that i think that was a really cool just something simple uh, customization thing that a lot of people took for granted <laughs> and i'm just like yo that's actually pretty dope that you can miss and match your fmf with your pro circuit and etc with your handguards and there's a lot of you know diversity right there it's something super simple but i mean honestly the attention to detail to have a different situation in the game or like what pipe you really like running i think it's really cool and everybody else gets to see that you know scrap is gonna be coming out with a video here talking about some type of series that is coming up with these bikes i want him to full touch base on that before me so be on the lookout for that video but uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Just something to where it's just like maybe your factory, I mean, the A-Kit sponsors, you know, to where it's just like you're, you're fully uh, sponsored, a Ducati rider, Beta rider, Triumph, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I mean? And, you know, just certain certain teams are riding certain pipes and all that, certain stuff like that. You know, hey, like we're riding the FMF pipe. I don't know. That, something super small yet really creative and something cool just to bring into the, uh, the immersion effect since we are playing a simulator. I think that'd be sick. But um, another huge thing is... Um, I don't know. The bike just feels amazing, bro. The engine braking feels great. Uh, traction feels cool. I feel like, like I said, like the bikes don't feel overly fast. I feel like you get a right amount of torque to the back wheel, and the 450s don't. F At least the Ducati wise. All right, I haven't tested the rest of the bikes, but um, this is my first uh, initial impression. And so far, the Ducati feels absolutely amazing. Um, I feel like I definitely need to find a way to get more pop off these jumps because I'm only actually able to get that double in. Um, but yeah, so far, enjoying it a lot. It's a really good test right here. Wasn't able to slow down for that inside rut, so we're probably not gonna be able to get that one. But yeah, Ducati feels great. Why not try out the beta, the Triumph, and the Ducati all in one video? So three new bikes that are literally barely ever played and actually not in any other bike pack in the video game. So I think Scrabble is really winning the <laughs> winning the situation right here. So yeah, dude, this bike feels absolutely insane on SMX. And uh, yeah, huge, huge, hugely excited to see Jet Lawrence come back out and uh, try to take this chip, dude. I'm super excited for that. And dude, man, Anthony Caroli showing out over in the MXGP status of the freaking beta. I mean, I mean the Ducati, it's looking really great. We got Benny Bloss hurt a little bit, but the beta, you know, we're gonna be happy to test that. And then Jalik Swole and Joey Savacci getting crazy on the Triumph 250. So all three new bikes that i'm super excited to ride and we're definitely going to be riding these bikes more i definitely want to give it more of a presence in my own lobbies i feel like i i've kind of neglected you know trying these bikes out been busy but hey better late than never and i did tell skralix hey you know that one's on me i'll take the hit but hey, you know being able to get these bikes out now is better than never so and i i seen that literally trojan was the only other person that did make a video on this so i do apologize that that was even the case uh, I feel like you definitely deserve more clout on these, and I'm willing to take accountability and know that, you know, hey, now now at least for my clout side or my side of it, I'm at least going to give it out or give it its, its recognition because it's well-deserved. I mean, we're only on the Ducati so far, so, yeah. Um, but, I mean, here we are, Las Vegas, Ducati. Let's go ahead and hop on over to our next bike. All right, next one up is the Beta. I had to give this bike a go, and oh my god, right off the start. Oh my gosh, this thing is this freaking monster. Yo, that thing got sick. Okay, this definitely has way more power uh, than the Ducati, so definitely gonna have to take it a little bit on the easier side. That was pretty insane. I went right up the third gear, and I went nasty on it. Let's go slow her down a little bit. 
But yeah, here at Millville, I really wanted to try this bike as well. Actually, I'm gonna back my seat up. There we go. I really wanted to try this track, uh, this bike on this track. Just kind of see the power basis going up the uh, massive freaking uh, Millville Hill. So that's something we're super excited to see. And kind of see where it goes in the sand as well. So far, the bike is actually beating it up. I like it. See how it fills through the roller section? This thing grabs traction so quick on the as soon as it touch back, uh, touches base on the ground, which is pretty nice. You see a lot of power in this beta, which is really good. All these new bikes, I really just enjoy wanting to ride just because, like I said, we don't really have any other way of these bikes in here other than A-Kit bikes, and I, I genuinely enjoy that a lot. So if you want that best bank for your buck to ride a beta right now, you definitely got to over, head over to Skrallex's A-Kits, dude. Especially for the Ducati as well and, like, the Triumph. Oh, slow it down just a bit. See that engine braking, actually. I'm not even going to press the brakes. That's all engine braking right there, just to try to get into that. That was pretty nice. See what it feels like getting up the hill. Nice. Wow, no freaking front, uh, front end wobble. That's also another thing. Uh, no wobble going up that hill is absolutely amazing. No weird physics. See what it looks like going down the hill. Uh-oh, big bounce. So we're down, a little bit of engine braking and a little bit of brakes. That was huge. <laughs> yeah, these bikes are amazing, dude. Yeah, I, I feel so bad. I do apologize, Skrallix, for taking so long to try to make a video on this and even give out my little clout or my little fair share portion of MX bikes to just give you more love, man, because these bikes are well-deserved and you've been putting in that work. So I definitely will say these bikes are actually it. Link will be down in the description below. Be sure to download them. We will be doing a couple races here on some of my streams. If you guys haven't checked out my streams, be sure to check those out. What we're going to try to do tonight on Friday. Be sure to come out, man. Probably going to see me ride this and the freaking Ducati, man. I think that I think that this bike has the Ducati beat, though. And speed-wise or power-wise. I genuinely think the Ducati has nothing on the beta, dude. This thing is absolutely a monster. A little freaking scrub right there. Nice. Staying low. Staying low. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Yeah, look at that power, dude. Oh, man. This bait is nice, bro. Yeah, like I said, like, it's okay for me to go test a Kawasaki on my own. Maybe a freaking Yamaha. You know, we, we can all test those ourselves, but real test is... Oh, stupid freaking SpongeBob. Real test is just seeing these new newer bikes, man. These, these are these are the ones to call out, you know? This is what brings the, brings the attention. We can still get over it. Nice. Perfect speed. Oh my goodness, bro. I love the way these things whip, too. Look how it... I love that, you know, like, these bikes get into these ruts so easily. Like, I, I'd be 100% honest. Like, there's no bar clip. I'm standing up. I'm sitting down. Like, it feels natural. It feels like there's no, like, there's no fight against me, you know? I was in first gear right there. It's pretty upsetting. Let's see if we can still climb. Let's see if we can still climb. Oh, gosh. Easy peasy scrub. Nice. Engine braking one more time. See if we can take this inside. Oh, we just missed it. Oh, but the suspension. Oh, <laughs> suspension saved us, dude. That's pretty sick. Nice and in. There we go. Third gear. Scrub. Excited to see Benny Bloss kind of come back to beta. I know he's been injured, but I really want to see that bike compete again. That was pretty upsetting that he's not even in there. It would have been nice to see, but let's go ahead and go to our very last and final bike. Real quick before we get into the riding, look how good. I mean, literally, look how good this Triumph looks. I, I can't even fathom it, dude. This is probably my the coolest paint, the coolest skin, like, in the, in, the, in the pack, dude. This thing looks nasty, bro. Meaty. All right, let's get right into it. All right, so getting on our last little laps, we're going to go ahead and hop on that Triumph 250. Now, the reason I did not do a Triumph 450 is because I don't think we have a Triumph 450 team IRL. So I just didn't want to go off a, a bike that's really not necessarily something that's fitting the, you know, general public at the moment. And we only have, you know, the 250 team, which is Jalik Swole and Joey Savashi. So maybe Triumph 450 is coming here soon. I don't know. I mean, this is first year and I think they did an outstanding job. But so far for a 250, holy smoke, this bike feels absolutely insane. And I decided to hop over here at Loretta Lens. Uh, something new 
and I really just wanted this to kind of encourage a lot of young bucks to, if you guys are literally in the amateur scene or anything like that, since Triumph is kind of like the newer bike in the scene, and definitely give this bike a go IRL to really kind of put it out on the map, dude. I don't know. You show interest in the Triumph, you might be able to get on a new team pretty quickly or, you know, some new sponsors to be looked at. So it's kind of just that incentive is something I wanted to talk to as well. And also, Loretta Lens by Fluentia for 2024 is absolutely insane, dude. This freaking track feels amazing. And the 250 feels amazing. This is my first 250 I'm riding out of the pack. And uh, let's see if we can do this line. Oh, no, we can't. Oh. Okay, I shouldn't have went for the line. I should have just went for the actual regular line. I was trying to do some cheese, but... Uh, we'll come back around for that but with that being said you know this bike for the first 250 i'm actually riding on feels absolutely great um man i i generally like i said dude i it, i don't know why it took me so long to get onto these bikes but i'm kind of glad that you know i took the time out of my day to actually ride them and make this video because i just the more people that can see this bike and track uh it's kind of crazy and i didn't know scrollers did hit me up he said the only person that actually did show interest or even wanted to make a video about these bikes i believe was Troy Jen. Now, I could be completely wrong, and there could be other people out there. So, I encourage you that if you're in a content creation situation, small or big, uh, definitely give this bike some love. I mean, I know I'm not really the most <laughs> loved person in the community right now, but um, I do say, like, you know, put all differences aside and give this, this uh, you know, bike pack a go. It's pretty nice, I gotta say. So, huge W to Troy Jen for actually, you know, actually trying these bikes out and doing it and actually taking the initiative. So, I thought I'd follow suit as well. When Scrox actually hit me up and said, I would love for you to do it. And I, I do apologize, like I said, at the end of the day for taking so long. But we're here now, you know what I mean? Better late than never, people. And uh, I got to say right now, that um, I should have showed this clip earlier, which I will show the clip, and I'll show it probably again right now if you guys made it this far in the video. The customization on these bikes are absolutely insane. You can change the whole FM pipe. Uh, you can change from an FMF pipe, a pro circuit uh, pipe, um, uh, different, a uh, no, whole bunch of different bikes, uh, pipes also with your handguard so you can miss and match which is absolutely insane i think it's a really cool customization feature and um i think we're just taking that for granted i think there's not too many customizations wise for that situation in the game but the handguard and you can change your pipe just in case you're a certain kind of you know person that likes a certain brand so i thought that was pretty cool there we go now we're just going to take the nice regular triple situation but yeah so far dude I gotta say, Skrylix, you have definitely piqued my interest. Super excited to see what you have to say this weekend uh, in your own situation video. And let me know. Um, I'd be down to even make another video kind of tech talk, you know, after you fully kind of give the details out. I definitely want to say something about it as well. That way I can give at least my my clout, my, my side of the story and other people to see it. So definitely going to be on the lookout for that, bro. Thank you so much for all the things you do for this community and just creating that different avenue of approach. I know a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people are hard for change, but man, this is something amazing. So don't give up, keep fighting, keep freaking chasing the dream, dude. And we'll talk soon, huh? Uh, this is your boy, IBS Kelso. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, just, yeah, catch you in the next one. Bu -bu 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 -bu